Hello everybody, welcome back to another video of Pokemon Brook Bronze. If you're new here, please consider leaving a like and a sub down below. Also leave a comment down below, we can have a little chit chat in the comments. But we are going to be giving our daily shout out, and we're going to be shouting out Swift Gaming. Thank you so much for supporting the content, dude. If you guys want to be shouted out in the next video, possibly be shouted out in the next video, leave a comment down below. Leave something nice in the comments, and I'll pick at random. No guarantee you will be picked, but you know this is episode 12 we are gonna be doing the flying gym finally but guys i have some news to break to you guys i did like two trainers in this gym my pc crashed i lost my recording so yeah i'm sorry you can't see two of the fights like i said i did beat two of the trainers like this guy right here usually you fight him but you know i beat him i got this guy a measuring tape right there then i beat this guy up here oh i beat more than i thought then i beat this guy right here then also grab the hammer from top i'm so sorry like i said my computer crashed i'm really sorry but we're gonna finish the rest of this gym and this is my team septile luxray talonflame gengar larvitar and rylu i'm just kind of hoping these four carry what i did learn is i should definitely send out luxio at the start because septile is really useless this gym but i was gonna fight this guy before my computer crashed so let's fight him the boss might end up needing tools from the toolbox up there if you beat me in the battle i'll give you access to the toolbox what do you say yes all right let's do it a chat talk i love the sound luxio makes when he gets pulled out thunder fang echo voice that does no damage but we crunch and we one shot him 1300 xp that's what we like to see getting a little health over that leftovers he sent out our archaeops i think he's a pretty cool pokemon i'm surprised he's flying look at those wings oh okay do some damage but we do one shot you as well yeah it looks like it's way better because septile was doing absolute no damage and taking a bunch of damage 1600 xp level 34 rylu always a talent flame now we're not switching out we just gotta hope this talent flame does not go first please don't go first thunder fang please 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 no wait i think we die right we don't die we could possibly one tap him okay we don't one tap him we don't we're just gonna hope he does a stat attack please do a stat attack okay he doesn't he should have let off with that attack first. Acrobatics. Okay, we're gonna use Talent Flame on Talent Flame. Just to show him that our Talent Flame is better. To use Amber will probably kill him, right? Or will it be like do zero damage? Oh, I thought I was gonna do more than that. Look at his HP. I just wanted to embarrass him. That's why I use Ember. There you go, he's out. 1600 XP. Did we level up? We don't. Anyone else though? No is 27. I was hoping to win that battle. Oh, well, I'll help you now. A thousand dollars. You beat me fair and square. I'm a man of my word. All right, dumbass, pull her forward. All right, you got an oil spill right there. The truck is in this place. Should be able to reach the toolbox up there now. All right, thank you. But first, we got a reservoir Sparko. And he's good with his health. So we're chilling. There we go. We need this wrench. There we go. Let's go give it to my boy real quick. Here you are. Hey there. I'm sorry, but I've got my hands full at the moment. I need to measure this gap. Would you mind finding a measuring tape for me? We got to have one lying around here somewhere. I already got that from last time. What happened? I was put on cleanup duty. I'll say most of this place is in decent order now. I'd like to take a break and have a battle. Okay. Why did this guy not walk up to me earlier? And I did grab the measuring tape from him. Gligar. I like Gligar. It's pretty cool. It's a pretty cool looking Pokemon. Especially when he evolves. It doesn't fit Gligar. He's his U-turn. Okay. What am I switching it out for? Oh, he switches out. I thought I get switched out. He switched out his Gligar for a Gligar. It's a good strat. That's a good strat. I wasn't thinking of that. He's crunched though. A critical hit. Ooh, okay. We gotta hope this one taps him. I'm pretty sure we lose our Sparko no matter what. If we kill him or not. There's another Gligar that just does damage to us. And he also lowered our defense, so any attack kills us. There's three Pokemon though. We use Crunch on him. Take this guy out. Only 800 XP. Okay, I'm pretty sure I'm going to switch out to my Sceptile because I feel like Sceptile might do pretty good against him. Let's just test it out. Sceptile. We need some Mega Drain. Try to get our health up. Mega Drain. Please be good. Please be good enough at least. Okay, that was good. Oh, that was really good. We'll use it one more time. Get full HP basically. Use his X Scissor. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Chill out. Mega Drain on you again. Not much HP, but... Almost smoked me. Are we level 50? Yes, sir. Stepped out level 50. Gengar's level 43. A jump luff. Who are you? Oh, okay. Is he bug or something? Let's just try Mega Drain, I guess. Yeah, you should probably go with your gut. Yep. Uh, am I done for? Am I cooked? Am I cooked? Well, that should do nothing to me too, right? Yeah. Is bug good against bug? Or is he? No, is he grass? 
I have no idea. And I'm out. There I go. You want to do that to me? No worries. I got something for you. A little something for you. Don't you worry. Flame charge. Take this like a man then, huh? He became the center of attention. What does that even do? Yeah, take that like a man. The way my septile took your attack like a man. Almost 2,000 XP. 1,900. That's dope. Back to work now. Thousand dollars. Yeah, we're gonna have to. If three max revives, septile. Huh? All right, septile. He said he wanted a measuring tape, and there's one right here. It's just what I needed. Thanks. Let me just. There we go. About one and seventh eighths. Hmm. Um, that's exactly the wrench I needed. Oh, how did you know? Okay, I'm just gonna. All right. Sweet. Now I just have to take care of this annoying little deformed bar. I have a hammer. Okay, this is gonna sound crazy. I'm gonna try to bend this back into shape with a hammer. Damn, rest in peace to whoever flies this plane. I don't use hammers very often, so I don't know exactly where you're gonna find one. I'm certain, however, that we've got one. The only question is where. I'm pretty sure I have it, no? Okay, this is going to... Okay, I don't have it. So I think I have to refight the guys. I hope I have to refight it, because like I said, my video crashed, or my PC crashed, and I already fought these dudes. I don't have to fight you anymore? Oh, yeah. See, I already fought them. That's sad. Okay, we got the hammer. We head our butts downstairs. Go give him this hammer real quick. I see you found a hammer. Probably the only one we've got. Now if I could just... Wow. I can't believe that works so easily. And he's bald. Sorry about that. Thanks for the help gathering the necessary tools. Oops. One second. Okay. There you go. His cool hat on. His cool glasses. That's better. Now... So what do I owe the pleasure of this visit? Ah, oh, you've come here to challenge me for Anthony City's gym badge. Battling is the least I could do in return for your timely assistance. Well, excellent. I love a good battle. Okay, who you got? My Pokemon are pretty low, so I might have to come back. Hopefully not. Who are you sending out first? Star Raptor, okay. Level 46. My Sparko is level 45. And he's half dead. And my, uh, I think my tech was lowered. And he goes first. Oh, oh, that does no damage. Good, good, good. Thunderfang. Yes, yes. Please don't use anything good. Please, please. My HP raises just a little bit. Please. Close combat. Do I die? Do I die? I die. I die. Damn. Okay, we're gonna use Talonflame. We still got some people up our sleeves. Uh, Flame Charge. Do we go first? We do. Flame Charge is not really that good. Brave Bird. Holy. Oh, he dies. Okay. 2000 XP. Anyone wanna uh, evolve or level up? Lovatar. He wants to learn the move Thrash. Let's see if it's a good move. Thrash, 120 power. You know I love my strong attacks. I don't care about none of these other attacks. I am brain dead. I just love strong attacks. So we're gonna definitely keep it. When it remove from Screech. I don't even gotta read, I don't care. When I fight that Elite Four or whatever they're called, I'll put the proper attacks on him. Skarmory, a steel, right? Looks steel. I don't know if Flame's good against him, to be honest. Just try acrobatics, I guess. Ah, oh, brother, he's dead. Tell him Flame, I'm sorry. Oh, you're alive. Can we at least get a flame charge off and burn him, maybe? Oh, it's super effective, but still does no damage. Use the spikes, okay. I can at least get one more attack off. Flame charge. Oh, okay. Please, please don't attack. Please. I pray, I pray. Donald Trump. Donald Trump didn't help us, but he is burned. Not like it matters. Oh, okay, we got our half dead Sceptile. He's level 50 though. He's hurt by spikes. Let's use just Mega Drain on him. Get the rest of his HP. Even though it's not much. What? He does zero damage. I gotta learn, dude. I have to learn types. I have to learn what is good against what. I got exactly two HP. That's crazy. 1600. He's about to send out an Aerodactyl. Nope, we're chilling. That little fossil Pokemon. This is a big old head too. Okay, Thunderfang. Do I get paralyzed? No, I don't. Mega Drain. Please be good. Yes. Exactly what we needed. Oh, and he still has two more Pokemon after. Mega Drain. Mega Drain. Aerial Ace. No. Oh, why are you gonna do that to me? Why? Seems Gengar. Can I use a Max Revive in one of these fights? Do Shadow Ball. Use his Fire Fang. Does some damage to me. I use a Shadow Ball on him. That's really good. You shut a ball again. He does aerial ace. Okay. This would be pretty low. No, yeah, I do have a little Larvitar that could do thrash. Maybe he'll one shot if he goes quick enough. Maybe. I don't know. Another Star Raptor. Uh, I mean, we have no choice but to stay in. And our tech fell great. Nah, do I risk the hypnosis? I don't know. Should I sucker punch? I, oh, and I go first. I should try to hit. No. Uh, double team. What does that do? Speed? Increases the speed, right? It doesn't affect the opposing star after he uses double team. Okay, I'm just gonna try to hypnosis him. That's the only thing I can do. Hypnosis, then dream eater. 
that even affects him oh put to sleep right away first try okay dream eater right in your nightmares like freddy cougar oh we get hp for that god that's what i like to see one more time one more time yeah look at us you're gonna wake up you have no idea we're full hp and he woke up come on do something aerial ace that weak a little tag dream meter again bruh don't do it to me okay his evasiveness i think just goes all right yeah good for you it's gonna hit you this time okay i'll give it to you who do you send out? <laughs> he sent out Rylu. What is he gonna do? Do you have a quick attack? We have a quick attack. Please do enough damage, please. Bro, no, we're cooked. Okay, he uses evasion. Quick attack though, we still win. Gosh, that's crazy though. 2100 XP. Rylu's level 36. 2100 XP to Gengar, he's level 44. He wants to learn to move Dark Pulse. Gonna see if this is any good. Dark Pulse 90 power, 100 accuracy. It's a dark type move. 15 turns. It may cause flinching. So we got Sucker Punch. We're just gonna switch it out for Sucker Punch. Bravery. Uh, yes, yeah, so let's switch to Gengar. It's our only hope to make a comeback in this game. Journey Meter. Doesn't affect Bravery. No. Ah. Uh. Oh, it doesn't affect me either. Wait, wait, wait. Shadow Ball, Shadow Ball guys you gotta bear with me i do not know what's good against what i don't know type advantage and all that stuff i'm slow please don't get mad at me i'm sorry what about dark pulse wow good for you and good for you too we got rylu when he uses a max revive we got two when he uses it on sparko he's the big dog i used to revive he recovered zen headbutt Do you die uh you pass out my friend but don't worry Sparkle's coming in clutch. You did your job, Rylu. And his attack foul too. That's great for us. Uh, Thunderfang. Please one shot him. I know he's five levels up. Okay, he's five levels uh, above you, but you still got this. No. Okay, we still got one more revive though. We still got one more revive. Please, please, please. Send headbutt. Okay, we die. We die. We die. Who goes first? Talent Flame. When you switch out to Larvitar, we got our last max revive. Unless we can risk it. Does he have a quick attack? Does not have quick attack. So we are gonna use our last revive on Talent Flame. Because Talent Flame does go first. I'm pretty sure he should go first. Just arrow ace on me. It doesn't kill me. It doesn't kill me. Uh, let's just use Thrash, I guess. Superpower. Okay, I'm out. I have to hope. Talon Flame goes first. Please go first. Please, my boy. All you. Uh, Flame Charge. Yes, he goes first. Yes, there we go. Would have been a lot easier if half of our Pokemon were half dead. Mayday, Mayday. $8,400? I'm not sure whether it was the work I did on the jet or that battle, but I feel winded. I find great joy in every battle, regardless of whether I win or lose. It's much like the joy I get from flying. There just isn't a way to experience the freedom felt while soaring through the sky or fighting on the battlefield. I can tell that you were feeling the freedom during our match. You were definitely an opponent worthy of my time, and for that, I am grateful. It is my privilege to reward you the soaring badge. Nice, look at it. The big green badge. That's what I like. Obtained the soaring badge. With this badge, you'll be able to trade for Pokemon up to level 60. You'll also be able to use the move Fly outside of battle. Fly will enable you to travel more quickly between towns and cities of Aurora. That also reminds me, I want you to have this. Obtained TM40. Hot Dog put TM40 in the bag. TM40 contains the move Aerial Ace. This is a flying type move. Never misses. You've done an outstanding job today, young trainer. I want to thank you again for your help. Good luck to you on your adventures. And remember to fly freely. There we go. Let's make sure to save this real quick looking pretty good oh my okay. screen started shaking what is this who are you is this team eclipse bruh always up to no damn good and we gotta meet up with jess real quick let's go do that all right we're heading our way back i think they were here yeah tessa and uh, gerald hot dog thank goodness you are back something awful has happened it's all my fault too that boy is going to get himself into trouble i told him not to go team eclipse is back in Athena city and you guys run off to face them alone i tried to stop him but he was more determined to save your parents and protect us i should have gone with him no he did the right thing by staying here that boy is a fool he's going to get himself captured by meddling with those goons it's true team eclipse has registered face in Athena city the present here can only mean one thing 
They must be going back after that artifact in the museum. I saw a bunch of them pass by the shop heading to the housing district. It appeared that they flew a ship of their own and docked it in the park district. Your friend went over there as soon as he heard they were here. There isn't much you can do for him. Hopefully Team Eclipse will find him as a very much of a threat and simply kick him out of their area of operations. What if he's captured though? Jake is my friend. And if we're me in trouble, he will come looking for me too. I'm sure he would. But I can't afford to send you looking for him and risk you getting into trouble as well. Especially after you tell me that you haven't had much battling experience. Maybe I don't, but I know someone who does. Yeah. Yes, sir. Big old me, hot dog. Hold on, you just won the badge from Anthony City Gym, right? Hot dog happens to be an amazing Pokemon trainer. And if we went together, I doubt anything would happen to us. Please, Gerald, you have to let us try. You are every bit as determined as your father was when he won his weight test. I guess there really is no stopping you. Hot dog will be there to assist you, then I'm fine with it. I want you to take this. Obtained a basement key. Hot dog put the basement key in the bag. That's the key to the basement below my shop. I'll take you there through Anthony and sewers. The sewers connect the park district underground from the shopping district. There are Team Eclipse members guarding the path above ground to the park district i'm sure they don't know about the sewer path if you take the tunnels below the city i am confident you will reach your destination safely thank you so much gerald this will be incredibly helpful don't worry about it hot dog and i i promise we will come back safely i sure hope so i'll be inside the shop if you need anything i need to call a few friends of the city to make sure they'll be all right good luck you two all right let's go find the sewer entrance right here how convenient all right let's go Oh, I guess I haven't given you a chance to run some last minute errands. You might need to go prepare for this. If it's healing your Pokemon, don't worry about that. I have plenty of potions. I'll keep our Pokemon healed up as we go. I'll wait for you right inside in case you need to do something else. Please hurry though. We need to find Jake quickly. No, I'm ready to go, Tess. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to rock and roll. Get in there. Anthony and Sewer. Let's go. Ew, it smells awful down here. Try to make it out as quickly as we can. Go ahead and lead. I will follow. Let's follow the big dog. Let's go. Oh, and there's Pokemon down here. Is it Grimer? Ooh, Varum. A new Pokemon. I feel like all the new Pokemon they try adding has this like blue pixel around them that they don't know how to get rid of. Ah, oh, there's people down here. Well, well, we have visitors here in the sewers. Most people don't realize it, but we scientists do a lot of work down here, making sure everything runs properly on the safest. Well, I appreciate you, man. Someone has to do the dirty jobs. Oh, Magneton and Magnemite. He's electric and steel. Uh, Strike Crunch, I guess. I don't know, to be honest. Let's use it on Magneton. Okay, guess it was okay. He uses dig. My boy's gone. Okay. He says try attack. The bite voided the attack. The magnemite used screech. Lowered my defense. Just use crunch again on the magneton. Okay, one more attack should do it. Gimbal uses dig. Oh, dig destroy him. Teleflames level 47. Another magneton. Uh, I might as well just use crunch on magnemite. He is weaker. There you go. Use this rock slide. Just hit both. Nice. Oh, it doesn't kill him though. Uses flash cannon. Oh, that's some big damage. We're gonna use Tech on Magnetite. Here's our Electrode. Is this the one that self destructs? Oh, hell nah. He's Crunch on. Oh, he's Thunderfang. Self destruct. Oh, my goodness. And I use, and I use, uh, I think, Thunderfang too. 1600 XP though. At least I'm 46 now. I use Thunderfang. See? Oh, I accidentally clicked it. Uses Discharge. Okay, doesn't kill me. That's good. That's good, that's good. Thank you, Tess, for healing my Pokemon. We get 1,500 XP for that. That's what I'm talking about. I really should be working right now. $3,200. Holy sweet battling. Let me heal your Pokemon now. Thank you. Let's continue. I should probably talk to these guys, but I don't want to encounter a battle for no reason. Bro, what's he doing to that guy in the corner? Bro, what are you doing to that guy? Look at him. He took one bite out of each chicken. Okay, here we go. Let's go look over here. Might as well go check everything. What we can. This is a shortcut. This is a shortcut, but we might as well battle everybody since we're here. A little woman down here. These sewers are like my own personal little hideout. I come down here to get away from everyone on the surface. If you got a clog nose like me, I guess it's livable. Don't self-destruct. Just don't. Just don't. Just don't do that, man. Please. Use Crunch. Uh, an electrode. Because he's the one that self-destructs. Use Crunch. Oh, uh, that did pretty good. These random attacks that I have no idea what they do. Doesn't kill him. Uh, he crunched on him again. So I highly doubt this Gibbite will attack. Ah, oh, he protects. I was gonna say, I highly doubt Gibbite attacks him. I mean, this is Tess. Jake doesn't know how to attack. Maybe Tess knows how to attack. Maybe I should trust her. Lavatar is level 30. Riley is level 37. Uses Discharge. Does absolute no damage. She sends out a Gothitelle. Uh, I might as well just finish up the Voltar real quick with the Crunch. There you go. See if Gibbite got something good for uh, this Gothitelle. Show him your strength. Come on. Come on, Dragon Claw. Okay, he's a psychic. Oh, another uh, electrode. That's great. I use Thunderfang on her. Okay, he's a rock slide. That should finish her off. 
There we go. Don't self-destruct. We got 2,000 XP. Sparko is level 47. Gengar is level 45. Another Magneton. She has a lot of Pokemon. Use Crunch on Electrode. Uses Magnet Rays, but it failed. I use Crunch. And he's not dead. But he uses Rock Slide. He's good now, right? There we go. Good job, Tess. See, Jake can't do this. Jake can't do this. Jake sucks. He does not know how to attack like you. Septile's level 51. He wants to learn to move False Swipe. Nope. We're good. We're good. Uh, we're good. Her last Pokemon, Crunch. We should have a good combo. Wow. Come on, Tess. Finish him off. Finish him off. Use his dig. Well, I'm going to have to finish him off then. He says, try attack. I avoid the attack. Or he avoids the attack. Not me. Crunch is going to finish him off. So there's no point of that dig attack. But, you know. Pretty cool, I guess. 1400 XP. My family is the reason I hide from others. <laughs> Look at her. She's so depressed too, man. Look at her. Hey, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do that to you, but I'll take your money though. <gasps> there you go, Larvitar. Look at my boy. He's depressed with those black eyes. Black tears. Now he's this little mealworm looking dude. Ta da! Congratulations, your Larvitar evolved into a Pupitar. There we go. Almost a Ranatar. I don't want to skip any battles. Whoa, whoa. I mean, I don't have to fight that guy. There's no reason I have to fight that guy. So I just have to go straight. Yeah, he's tatted up. The rose. A whole arm sleeve. Yo, yo, yo. You here to join my fight club? If you beat me in battle, I'll tell you the number one rule of my fight club. What could it possibly be? Will it be any use to me ever? Probably not. Of course, because Scrafty and Scraggy. The older brother and the younger brother. We lower their attacks. That's what I like to see. They're fighting. I don't know what's good against fighting. Let's try some Thunder Fang. Thunder Fang was pretty good against Scraggy. And we paralyzed that boy. Take out your little brother. This is Rock Slide. <sighs> this rock slide sucks. Never helps me. I mean, it's better than Jake. Jake just debuffs them. Use Thunderfang again on Scraggy. Take him out. Here we go. He might use this dig. That's good. That's good. Since he has other Pokemon to use. Use a scary face. My speed fell. He has a uh, Machoke. Yes, sir. Thunderfang on Scrafty. Damn, I thought my attack was going to do way better. Oh, look, he kind of smoking us with those Pokemon. And my Pokemon and our Pokemon go last. Use a Shadow Claw. Should have used it on the Scrafty, but okay. Use his Thunder Fang. I use Thunder Fang, I'm at. 1600 XP. Talon Flames level 48. Pupitar is level 31. Ryla is level 38. Machoke uses his bulk up. His attack rose. Oh, Machamp. I have not seen a Machamp in so long. They're not ground, they're just fighting, right? Check it out. Shadow Claw. Oh, Machoke. Oh, the game I afraid it is. I use Thunder Fang. Is it good? I mean, I paralyze him. I'll say that's pretty worth it. He uses Wake Slap. Oh. Oh. Got yes, Seta, don't you worry. You'll never see somebody like this. Leaf Blade. I'm just gonna use it on the Machamp. Probably one shot him. Does not one shot him. She heals my Pokemon. The champ has faded. 2,237 XP. Shogun uses Dragon Claw on the Machoke, and he's out. Subtile gained 1,300 XP. Well, you beat me. I'll tell you the rule now. The number one rule of my fighting club is to tell everyone about my fighting club. Seriously, nobody knows about it, but I'm down here all alone with nobody to fight. <laughs> Why am I so close to his face? Is he scared of me? I think he might be scared of me. Riley's evolving? No way. Does he evolve once? Oh, okay, he does. Look at that. I got my boy Lucario. There he is. Congratulations. Your Riley has evolved into a Lucario. That's what I like to see. No. Okay, I'll be back with you guys unless something interesting happens. I know I said I'll be back with you guys. I want to show you guys this cool Pokemon though. He has a Clang and a Porygon too. Okay, now I'll be back with you guys. Yeah, since we kind of been making really short videos, uh, you know, I'll just let this one play out. I don't know how long this video is. It's probably going to be like 40, 50 minutes. But look at he has an Ampharos. I want to evolve our Flaffy. I think that's what his name is. Into the Ampharos. I really like him. We get paralyzed? I'm actually surprised. My Sceptile never gets paralyzed. Uses Rock Slide and does zero damage again. This guy needs to stop using that. Leaf Blade on Ampharos. Whoa. Chill out there. Ampharos out. Now we just got a Magneton. Well, 49 Teleflame. Almost level 50. Level 33 Pupitar. This is Zen Headbutt. Not very effective. Leaf Blade on Magneton. And we're cooking. We're cooking. 
Okay, not cooking as much as we thought. Okay, there we go. Teamwork makes the dream work. We're level 53 too on our septile. This is a leveling farm here. Well, at least I still have an air-conditioned room. $3,000. That is crazy. All right, let's see what else we got. Are we finally done? I think this is the end of the sewers. I can hear wind. The part district must be on the other side of the store. Let's go make sure Jake is okay. Oh, I remember this spot. I see Jake. It looks like he's in trouble. We better hurry and help him. Well, look at what we have here. It's the friend of the kid who keeps ruining our plans. Yeah, where's your little friend at now? You made a big mistake messing with us, kid. Tess Hawdog, thank goodness you came. Yeah, you scared, huh? Oh, look who showed up. You are a really persistent brat. Do you miss your mommy and daddy yet, kid? We've been taking real good care of them. We keep them cozily locked away back in our base. He doesn't need to know that, imbecile. <laughs> I'm real sorry about this, Hawdog. I was just trying to help. I wanted to protect everyone. I'm not as strong as I thought. Zip it, kid. You do what we say now. You don't challenge the TV clips without facing serious consequences. We will be taking your friend back with us as a hostage. You can't do that. He's our friend, and we won't let you take him. You act like he has a choice. Soon we'll be done here and fly away with another one of your loved ones. We told you not to meddle with us, child. We just had our team member return from the museum with what we came here for. We're just waiting for Tyler to return from completing his mission. He should be back soon. The boss doesn't like waiting. Oh, that's the big boy. Speaking of the boss, here he comes now. This boy angry. Oh, chill. Damn. Straight past everybody. Hello, hot dog. It's been a while since I last saw you. I believe we bumped into each other at Rose Cove City Gym. He was planning against me all along. And my family. Professor Cypress. Oh, the guy at the start, right? It's the guy at the very first episode. What are you doing here? Oh, I guess I should explain. I'm not just Aurora's professor or Pokemon. I'm also the leader of the Grand Architect of Team Eclipse. Wait, what? How could you? Well, let me tell you a story. Long ago, when I started a career as a Pokemon professor, I wanted to help Pokemon. When I was a child, I had no friends. That is, except for my Pokemon. I love my Pokemon dearly and want the best for every Pokemon. Pokemon are excellent at bringing joy and comfort to their trainers and are very loyal. As a professor, I devoted all of my time in observing Pokemon and their relationships with humans. And what I discovered was very disappointing. Humans do not show the same love and respect for their Pokemon as Pokemon do for their trainers. It's like dogs in real life. We do not deserve dog. Nobody likes cats, by the way. Anyway, I have observed Pokemon being mistreated by other humans for quite some time now. The way people force the Pokemon into pointless battles over such a petty thing as who may be stronger is just an example. I can't stand to watch humans abuse their Pokemon. Pokemon should only be expected to battle to bring forth their own freedom. But then again, why bother starting a war to free Pokemon when there's a simpler solution? What if I simply take the Pokemon to another place? A better place where even humanity is reconstructed around the idea that Pokemon will be free from the humans. As it Turns out, I'm not far away from discovering such a place. I'm close to finding a new world where people and Pokemon can live freely and independently. That day, you came to my lab with your parents. They told me they had found something. It was a part of a legend that was tied in the ancient Pokemon called Hoopa. They did not tell me what it was that they found specifically, but that it would unlock Hoopa and its infinite potential. I asked for more information, but it turned out that they don't seem fond of sharing. I instructed my adamant to take your parents to a base of operations for more questioning. With their recollect how we have almost discovered Hoopa's location, you see Hoopa can open portals to new worlds across space and time. We need this power in order to reach the ultimate destination. We will not be stopped in finding our new world. Those who do not join us and follow us into the new world will be left behind. Oh, who's this dude? He's rich. Explosives are in place, sir. Bro, you don't gotta do that. Chill out. We are ready to proceed. Explosives? What explosives? Oh yes, we left a little present for Anthean City. We felt less than welcome last time we visited, so now we plan to repay the city's generosity by destroying its power core upon our departure. When the bombs explode, the power core will of course be obliterated. That core is what keeps the island floating, you know. Why would you do such a thing? That would cause so much destruction. You're a professor of Pokemon, not a terrorist. Maybe so, but we cannot afford to be stopped this time. Perhaps I forgot to mention this. This world will be destroyed anyway once we leave it behind in the new world. That's awful. How can you justify a thing? It's not justice. It's revenge. Pokemon have been subjected to worse and for way too long. Get everyone on board and ready to go. Yes, sir. Come with me. Damn. Wait. We will not let you go without a fight. Hold on. You have to stop them. They're about to leave with Jake. You're the strongest trainer I know. Please stop them. I'm the only trainer you know. Are you actually challenging me to a fight? You can't be serious. The resilience of Pokemon and violence sickens me. But that's how this world handles their situations. I may be against Pokemon battles, but that doesn't mean I won't come prepared for one. 
Absol, there you are, my boy. Hold on, it's Absol again. It must have been following you. It doesn't seem to have a trainer. Hold on, I think he wants to help you. What's the necklace it's wearing? Oh, hold on, it must be a Mega Stone. Absol is one of the few Pokemon that is known to be capable of Mega Evolution. In order to Mega Evolve a Pokemon, the Pokemon must be holding a Mega Stone. Its trainer must be holding a Keystone. I actually happen to have a Keystone with me. My father gave it to me before he disappeared. I think you should use it. Obtained a Mega Keystone. If Absol is willing to help us, then you can use his Mega Evolution to your advantage. I just mumbled like crazy there. My bad. Absol desires to join your team. Please choose the Pokemon to send to the NPC. No, Lucario, because I want to evolve Pupitar. Even when equipped with a Mega Evolution, you stand no chance against my powerful Pokemon. My Pokemon shall be the tools in bringing about the liberation of Pokemon everywhere. You will be defeated, then you will fall with the other ignorant citizens of Anthean City. Professor Cypress, look what you have become, my friend. With that gay little ship in the background, too. Oh, he has a Venusaur. Who do I send out first? Absol. Oh, it's level 50 versus level 50. Mega Evolution! Right away! I'm gonna use Night Slash. Evolve my first evolution. Mega Evolution. Ta-da! Oh, he looks like an angel. He's a sleep powder. Do I go to sleep? Oh, it's bounced back. Nightshade. I did okay damage. I'm gonna use Night Slash again. Oh, he has some Pokemon. Night Slash. There we go. How long does the Mega Evolution last until we pass out? For Alligator. No. I'll stick with my boy. Wait, is he dark too? I feel like he's dark. Let's just try a psychic move. Psycho cut. Uh, not good. He's just earthquake on us. Oh, that's a big hit. You should use Night Slash on him as well. Okay, that was better. He's a Screech. Uh, Screech was bounced back by magic. He's Night, Sla Night Slash. I right, finish him up real quick. That's good to know. How you go for alligator? 2500 XP. Level 47 Gengar. Blaziken. I don't have anything that can go good against him. Uh, Night Slash. Oh, not good. Not good. Against fighting and fire. Okay, not good against me either. Let's just try Psychic. Psychic? I don't know, to be honest. A Psychic? Oh, okay, Psychic is good against Blaziken. Hey, Poogie, if you're watching here, you know what I can use against you. So you better watch out. I also faded, though, but I don't got to worry about none of that. I got my boy Sparko. He's Thunder Fang on you. Out you go. 2500 XP. Level 50 Sparko. Rest of your team get experience points. Play with Targo to level 34. He wants to learn to move Dark Pulse. Let's see if this is any good. Dark Pulse. Yeah, it's pretty good. Uh, I'm going to switch it out for just Scary Face. I'm not even going to read it too lazy to be honest i just saw the numbers or oh, terror it's the starter pokemon right uh the grass starter pokemon if so i want to send out talon flame it looks so much smaller though flame charge bro super effective but it does oh that's not gonna affect me i'm flying my friend flame charge super effective flame charge there we go Glad that we did not have to do it one more time. Oh, you're raising our speed like crazy, buddy. You're not going to outspeed my boy Talonflame. A Samurai. I have legit have no idea who that is. That sounds like some type of water Pokemon. So I'm searching it out for Sceptile. I forgot what gen this is, but I love this gen because I, I love like opening the cards of when this gen came out. If you understand what I'm trying to say. It's like there was like the tins and he would be in there like in the EXs and stuff. Oh, he was so cool. Uh, Acrobatics. Oh, you go. 2500 XP. Adele Fox. I have no idea until I see him. Okay. Fire. Uh, use acrobatics on him. Use his flamethrower. Bro, how does that do more? This is his last Pokemon as well. Use his flamethrower. It's going to be a crit and one shot me somehow. Ah, oh, okay. We're good. What happened? You're going to liberate this world with your Pokemon. What happened? Sceptile is level 54, Pupitar is level 35. How did this happen? 11,000! I wish you could do this fight over and over. May I have won this battle, but you have lost the war. I still have the explosives in place and they will detonate as soon as we take off from the city. Team Eclipse cannot be stopped now. We will find our new world. No, please stop. Think of all the people and Pokemon that will be destroyed as a result of this. Sacrifices must be made to bring justice to the future generations. If it makes you feel any better, you can have this key to the energy core room. Obtained a quarter key. Hawk put the quarter key in his bag. The bomb will have blown up by the time you can reach the room. But at least you'll be able to watch the, the pretty light show from up close as the core melts down. Well, I must be off now. I don't want to be here when the bomb goes off. Look at you, dude. 
Why can't we just get one of our Pokemon to shoot the shit down? This is terrible, Hada. They took Jake and now they're going to destroy Anthony and City along with half of Aurora. What do we do? There's not enough time to warn everyone. We need to figure out... Oh, there he goes. Sounds like the explosives just detonated. It might be too late. Hold on, I've never been so scared before. I can't move my legs. <laughs> I can't believe this is how our adventure is going to end. Hold on, I just want to thank you for... Hold on, your necklace is sparkled. What is it doing? Who is it? Rayquaza, Rayquaza. Oopa? Oh, Gerotina? Is that Gerotina? 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 The space and time Pokemon. And there's Giratina. No, Giratina's the black dude, right? Oh, I meant the black Pokemon. Can't believe what we are witnessing. The legendary dragon type Pokemon. Dialga and Elkia. What was I saying earlier? My bad. They appeared before us. According to legend, they have control all over time and space. We'll call them here, though. Wait, could it have been your necklace? It glowed right before they appeared. Well, whatever happened, this is a pretty big deal. We could use their help right now. Do I have to pick one? Chill out. Chill out. Chill out. Whoa, Pelkia Roar seems to have temporarily stabilized the city. This might buy us some time. Now we just need to figure out a way to save everyone. Oh, he's saving us. Beautiful. Thank you, Dialga. What just happened? We're back in the sewers. Look around, everything appears to be frozen, as if time itself has stopped. This must be the power of Dialga. But why would Dialga send us back here? Oh, I got it. Dialga must want us to stop the Team Eclipse admin from planting this explosives. And as luck would have it, Professor Cypress gave you the key to get into the energy core room. We have what we need to save the city. Let's head to the core room and stop Team Eclipse. The core room should be on the other side of the sewers close to where we first entered the behind build shop. Just not over here, right? I thought it was right here. It's not. We have to go all the way back. Great. Right here. Okay, yes. Oh, it's one of the admins. There's the Team Eclipse goon sending up the explosives now. So we are in the past. Now is our chance to stop him. It looks like time has resumed. We have to stop him now. Is it red in? Green out? Or green in? Red out. Well, it's 50-50. <laughs> this, guy, this guy's crazy. He's actually psycho with that. Look at him. Hey, how did you two get in here? It doesn't matter. We're here to stop you. Oh, you are? Well, I'll have you know I'm a Team Eclipse admin. I'm not exactly a pushover. If you want to stop me right now, you will have to battle me. That's not a problem. The hot dog will certainly beat you. And when the battle is over, you will pack up here and leave for good. My, my, you are a sassy one. Something must have made you really angry before getting here. Yeah, you could say that. We don't have much time, so let's get the show on the road. Say no more. You are in for some disappointment. All right, what you got? This guy's legit psycho. Look at him. Ah, uh, Electro, nothing good? Oh, shoot, sure, we got a switch. Let's get this video done quick though. Oh, self-destructed, okay. That did absolutely nothing to us. That's what I like though. Wanna send on an electrode. We're good. Now, honestly, he could just keep self-destructing or we one tap him. Either way it works, I guess. Can we one tap him? We can, so we can save some time. 1400 XP. Gengar level 48, another electrode. Come on, come on. Just have all electrodes, that's all I need. Get through the story, I only have an hour. And I'm paralyzed? Come on, man. Soul rock, now nah, we're good. We are good. Leaf blade on you. A crit. Super effective. What else you got? I never made it this far back in the day. Talon Flame level 51. A Luna Tone. Uh, one shot you as well. Leaf blade. Nice. 1300 XP. Spark goes level 51. Well, I really blew that one. $3,200. Well, I really underestimated the situation. You beat me, kid. Team Eclipse still got what they wanted here. We came here for a priceless artifact that will help us reach a new world. The plan to destroy the city may have been compromised, but the plan to destroy this whole world is still in effect. I must be going now. Just push him off. We let it pass. We did it, hot dog. We saved the city. I cannot believe this all happened and that we were able to help. Oh, looks like Dialga is pulling us back in. Anthean Park. Hey, it looks like we're back now. And the city is safe. We may have saved the city, but Team Eclipse was still able to get away with Jake. I feel horrible right now. He was only trying to help to protect us, and now he's gone. If only I had been there to stop him. We have to save him. Hot Dog, along with your family. I'll do whatever it takes to help get them back. Team Eclipse made a big mistake messing with my friends. Bro, I had to battle everyone. What are you talking about? They won't get away with this. Don't worry not, kids. There's still time to save your friend. Gerald. Oh, Gerald, what do you mean there's still time? What did you find out? I did some research at the item that Team Eclipse stole from the museum. It turns out to be a prison bottle. It's part of an ancient legend surrounding the mythical Pokemon Hoopa. Legends say the bottle is used to unleash Hoopa's true strength. 
Yes, Professor, Cypress did mention that Pokemon. He said that they plan to use it to take themselves and Pokemon to a new world. Yes, it is true. This is the power of Hoopa. He can open portals to new worlds. What they don't know is that they are still missing a piece of the puzzle for uncovering Hoopa's location. What do you mean? They have the bottle, don't they? Isn't that all they need? The bottle simply releases Hoopa from its bound form. What Team Clips doesn't know is that Hoopa is asleep, sealed in a sort of tomb. You see, a legend says that a long time ago, Hoopa was with great power, but lacked any control over itself and caused much destruction. The all-powerful Pokemon Arceus saw this and decided to cut off the raw power from Hoopa by sealing its power away in the prison bottle. As an added measure, Arceus sealed away Hoopa in a tomb somewhere beneath Crescent Islands and created a special key to open it. Your parents were smart enough to only give Team Eclipse half of the information they needed to get Hoopa. So Team Eclipse still doesn't have the key to open Hoopa's tomb? Correct. In truth, I believe Hot Dog's parents had found the key and hid it somewhere, somewhere in plain sight. Some of that Team Clips would never think to look. I think it's my, my brick, my brick bronze or something. What does the key look like? There are several old tales about the key. Some say it's a large golden key. Others believe it's a, a mythoparticle like password. According to an article written by Hot Dog's parents, it could be a small brick. See, look, at, I, I swear I have no clue what after this, and I guessed it. Guessed it correctly. Wait, it's small brick? No, it couldn't be. Hot Dog, you don't think the necklace your parents made you could be the key, do you? It'll be true. Your parents must have found the key and given it to you, knowing that someone would come after them for it. They are absolute geniuses. Nobody would suspect a child would be carrying the key to the tomb of Hoopa. Your necklace must be the key. That would explain how he called upon Dialga and Palkia to aid us. It's embedded with powers because it was crafted by Arceus. What's this about Palkia and Dialga? Oh, nothing. Yeah, don't tell them our secrets, man. All right, well, I think I know what needs to happen next. Oh, it's gonna be up to you now to go after Team Eclipse and save Jake and your parents. You have proven how strong you are, and I have a good feeling that there is nobody better for the job than you. Gerald is right, hot dog. You are probably the only person right now that can stop them. You've already stopped them so many times for causing so much destruction. You'll need to travel to Crescent Island. I believe that is where they have set up their base of operations. It would make sense, given that it's location for Hoopa's tomb. Unfortunately, you cannot fly there. The winds around the island are far too strong. You will have to sail there from Port Deca. Port Deca is on the east coast of Aurora. Getting there will require you to go back to Corona's Peak and take Skytrain down to Route 11. From there, you'll have to travel through several roads and cities. Here, you know, you'll need this pass to be able to access Skytrain. Finally, we got it. Finally, I think this is where we can get Beldom. Hold on, I think I'll stay here for now with Gerald. I want to aid him in finding more information that will help us find Team Eclipse. I want nothing more right now to rescue my friend in need. Jake was the best friend I ever had, and I must repay his kindness. When we find more information, I will fly to you immediately and share what I can. Oh, speaking of which, I want you to have this. Obtain HMO2. That HM contains fly. There we go, that's what I needed. You can use fly to travel quickly, but only to cities you have visited before. That is a wonderful idea. Tess and I will be searching hard for critical details. When we find something, you will be the first person to know. We will all be working together to keep Aurora safe. There's no telling what catastrophical, can't say the word properly, effects would occur if Team Eclipse manages to leave this world with the Pokemon. Well then, I think it's time we get to searching for helpful information. If you want to talk again before you leave, you can find me at the Poke Center. Alright, Gerald. I'll be right there. Hold on, I believe in you. I know together we can find and save Jake and your parents. I'll be doing my best to help any way I can. I didn't to finish saying this earlier because we were interrupted by doom and destruction but thank you for being such a great friend this short journey has already taught me so much and my greatest lesson learned is how important my friends are together we are strong so let's get jake back i'll see you later hot dog all right man have a good one all right guys hopefully you guys enjoyed this video i thought i'll make a little long one for you because the last few been really short max 15 minutes so i thought you know let's give them a little longer episode i don't know when this episode is going to go out this video is currently being recorded on the 15th it'll probably go out on the 21st or 20th so about five or six days from now you guys are probably wondering why my character looks different i'll let you guys know in the next episode that'll be out in two days from now usually i upload every other day so i kind of want this longer video to you know marinate a little bit you know since it's longer let people watch it so the next video will be delayed by a day I still hope you guys enjoy. Please leave a like and a comment down below. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.